Hey, it's Kev from Blender Bits. In this quick video, we're going to go over materials in Blender. This is where things start to get really cool looking. Alright, let's go. Materials are basically the things that give your objects color, or texture, or um, emission. In, in this case, uh, you can use objects as lights in Blender. It's really, really cool. But we're just going to go over basically how to take a, a few objects and assign them different shaders. Okay, a shader is, is a material, it's what gives it its color, it's, it's, a, it's a whole subject in itself. But I'm going to go over the basics of it and show you how it works. Okay, and we're going to go over a little bit of basic rendering. So, the first thing I want to do is come over and let's create a plane. And then over here under radius, I'm going to just click so you can left click in here and drag scale it up to about the size of the working grid and then I'm going to create a cube and I'm going to move that up and maybe over and create a cylinder so I'm just going to go here, go in here and lay down a few objects and you know this will become uh, evident why I'm doing this in a minute Okay, so I'm going to put in, uh, let's see, one more, I don't know, I'll, I'll throw in another sphere. And I'll put the sphere down here. And then I'm going to take Suzanne, she's got a lot of cool different angles and things, and I'm going to put her in the middle. And I'm just going to kind of zoom in and focus on Suzanne. Now, you'll notice that these are all gray. And if I go over here, you'll see that it says Cycles Render. If you click on here, you have Blender Render, Blender Game, and Cycles Render, and, and uh, these are the engines. And now in the next version of Blender, there's going to be another really cool one, but I'm not getting into that yet. So I'm going to turn on Cycles, and I'm going to go down here to this little, this little white ball here, okay? Click on it, and I'm going to say Rendered. And that turns this into a rendered view. That's what it's going to look like when your final artwork is done. Now, I'm going to go here and I'm going to go back to Solid. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select each one of these and turn them smooth so they look cooler. So I'm going to go over here to Tools. And with, uh, with Suzanne selected, I'm going to hit Smooth. And I'm going to go right click on the cylinder, hit Smooth. Right click here, hit smooth, right click here, hit smooth, right click here, and uh, well, it's flat anyway, but I'll, I'll, I'll hit smooth. Nah, 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 I'll leave it flat. Okay. And then I'm going to go back to, down here, to the render, rendered. And now you see that, it, remember how I said in the previous video, it's kind of a cheat. It looks a little more smooth, even though we're not using any smoothing on it. We're not using any of, the, any of that um, modifier that I showed you guys. Okay, but it's just, it just kind of makes it look a little more smooth. So what we're going to do is up here, and, uh, scroll down a little bit, we'll say Suzanne, okay? So we'll, we'll left click on Suzanne, and we'll go over here to this little ball. And if you can't see it, you can go on this edge here and pull out, and you can see that you, you you'll see more of these. So we're going to go to this little ball material. And over here, we're going to see Suzanne. We're going to see a little window here, and we're going to see new. So if you click on new, this adds a material onto her. Now you don't see it because it's pretty much the same color and everything is the same. But you do see down here, if you uh, use your scroll wheel, you can zoom in a little bit and see that we have this little node here called Material Output, right? and then we have this Diffuse BSDF. Without going into what BSDF is, we're going to see that there's this little node tree. And the cool thing is you can take this and you can pull it out, and you see now Suzanne has just completely black. She has no shader on her. If you go from this BSDF thing, you right your left click, hold down and drag, you can plug that into Surface and that gives you a surface. There's also volume too, 
which I'm not going into. That's for smoke and clouds and things. And there's displacement too, which there's a, a later video. But for right now, we're just going to concern ourselves with surface. And here we can change the color by clicking, left clicking in here and choosing a color. And we can make her any color we want. All right. Now, Cycles includes this really cool shader called the Principled Shader. And a whole lot of work was put into this. And I, I've started using this for a whole lot of different things. So if we go over here, we can click on Diffuse. And then we have all these different shaders that, that come in. We have Emission, which is kind of cool. It gives off light. We have uh, Hair. We have Holdout. We have, well, the one I'm going to concern ourselves with is Principled. So I'll click on Principled, and that gives us a whole cool list of things that we can change. And what Principled does is it attempts to, in one shader, okay, this is, this node here is a shader, in one shader, it gives us a whole bunch of different things we can play with. So, for example, and this, this, is mirrored over here. So I'm just going to use this because it's bigger for this video and you can see it better. So if you up metallic, you see that it kind of starts turning her into this kind of reflective metallic look. Okay, and if you change her color by clicking in this little color thing, you can start making her very metallic. And I'll zoom in and I'll show you a little bit more here. Now, you also have specular. So if you take metallic down, okay, metallic makes it obviously look metal. And, and you can change the metal look with roughness. Okay, roughness is kind of how big this highlight is. All right, so here we have, you know, very shiny gold metal. And then up here we have way more kind of rusted metal. All right, and I'm going to do a whole video on, on shading and lighting, and I'm going to explain why that, what, what, what all that is. But for right now, I just want you to play with this. Okay, so if you turn metallic down and you turn on specular, okay, you turn specular all the way up and turn roughness all the way down. Okay, you can, or, yeah, let's put a little bit of roughness in there. She can look plasticky. All right, so she can start looking like plastic. And... So you can really go in and play around. You can give her a clear coat, which is kind of like a car. It's like another layer of gloss on top. And you can see here that she starts kind of reflecting these other things in the scene. Now I can select these other things in my scene. You can just right click on them, even, even when you're in this view. You can right click on them and you'll see that they, you know, you'll, you'll see what's selected in your object, in, in your um, outliner view over here. So let's go over here and we'll give this guy a new color. Change them to blue. I'll give the cylinder a new color, and right now I'll just basically just give them a diffuse. That's fine, and I'll just change their color. Uh, green. Okay, over here the sphere. New. Make that. Uh, I don't know. Pink. Okay. This guy will be bad. I don't know. Teal. Whatever. And you can see that Suzanne now starts, she's reflecting these scenes. She's reflecting these, these objects. So if we go to Suzanne and we change her back to, a, let's say, a white color, or even just a, you know, like if I make her completely black, you'll see that she'll start really reflecting these things. And I'll show you how she's doing this. Okay, so I'll turn down the roughness, and you'll see that she's pretty much reflecting things in her scene. You can see here that this, the sphere is reflected right here. And if I go back here, you'll see this is really good. You'll see it's perfect reflection of this cube. And over here, you can see that she's reflecting the sphere. Okay, so principled shader is really, really cool in that it allows you to go in and really just really just emulate the look of many different things. Okay, I turn specular down, I'll make her metal. Give her a roughness. Now I'll turn up the, the color. Okay, and we can make her very chromed out if we want. 
right here. Now she's chromed out and you can really see this reflection going. See how she's reflecting all these different objects in your scene? So what you should do is create a scene like this, okay? Watch this video a few times, take notes, and go in and play with this. And start getting a feel for how materials work or shaders work on your objects, okay? There's a whole subject. I could do I could do 15 or 30 videos on this alone, but this is the basics. So, just go in and start playing with this. And you'll kind of get the feel for how to how to apply materials onto your objects. You also notice too that in this view you have a, a shadow, okay? That's coming from this lamp. Now, I haven't touched lighting yet, so I'm just going to leave the lamp alone for now. But you could, if you want, play around with this, and you can change the color of your lamp. You can change the type of lamp it is. Okay, lamp is just, just the word for light in, in Blender. And also, this, is, this scene is picking up the gray background, and that exists over here under World. And you can change the color of your background too. So if you wanted something like a, you know, outdoorsy scene, just basics, you can make, you know, kind of blue sky. And I can take my lamp, all right, and I can go over here to light, and I can change that to sun, and I can start getting kind of an outdoor look if I if I want to. I'm I'm not going into that too too deep right now. So here's something you know, magic hour, um, kind of look or, or daylight but I'm not going to go into that too deeply right now I don't want to confuse you so just go ahead and play with this and if you have any questions you know the comment section is open in this video so ask away and again if you got something out of this video like and subscribe and uh, I'll just I'll just keep making more thanks talk to you later